Okay, so let's go to question three. Phosphine, pH3 gas, decomposes according to the equation. The kinetics of the decomposition of phosphine at 950K was followed by measuring the total pressure in the system as a function of time. The data to the right was obtained in a run where the reaction chamber contained only pure phosphine at the start of the reaction. So choose the rate law that describes this reaction and then calculate the value of the rate constant and choose the correct units. Okay, so let's write down the reaction of the phosphine. Okay, so given the units there, I'm gonna make just like a a rough graph of the time versus the pressure. Sorry, this is smaller than I thought. So this is obviously not to scale. It's just so that we can kind of estimate the uh, rate of the reaction. So this is pressure. And then on the x-axis is going to be time. And then if I were to plot these values, so 0 and 100, 40, 151, 80, 168, we can see that there is a linear, uh, a linear expression that occurs. And when you have a straight line going up, uh, this means this is a first-order reaction. If we're looking at the rate. First-order rate. Uh, so for the first one, where you talk about the rate law, for, for first-order reaction rates, it's going to be the following where rate is equal to k h 3 Okay, so we can see that the more phosphine we have, um, the higher pressure that we have, Uh, goes up as time increases as well. So it goes up in a straight line. Okay, so next uh, I'm just going to write down everything that we know. So bear with me while I do this. So our P initial, which is the pressure that we had um, at the beginning of the experiment, is 100 torr. And then I'm just going to take one of the values at a given time. So I'm going to look at the pressure after 40 minutes, and that is equal to 151 torr. But you can use any given x or y values. And then I'm also going to write down like the expression I would get if I wanted to calculate p total. So for p total, 
This is the pressure of your initial minus 4x. So for x, um, I'm just going to denote as pressure. And the 4 comes from the reactants. So it's going to be 4x plus x plus 6x. So what this means is that as the decomposition reaction occurs, we're going to have 100 tors, so and then subtract what we started with, which is our reactants. And then we're going to add pressure that is from our products. So 1 is from this P4, and then this is from the 6H2. So then I can simplify this further just by doing P total is equal to P initial plus 3x. Okay, so we can solve for x. I'm going to use a different color. So let's say at 40 minutes, the pressure in the system is 151. So this is equal to 100, which is what we started with, plus the 3x. And then I'm just going to solve for x. And you're going to get 17 tor. Okay, so from here, I can now calculate the concentration of the phosphine at 40 minutes. So this is going to be our initial minus the 4, and then I'm going to sub in 17, and then I'm going to get 32 tor. So now, since we know that we have a first order reaction rate, I can use uh, the following equation. Okay, so this is the kinetics equation that you would get. Since we want to calculate k, which is our rate constant, and now I can just sub in all the values that I found. So for the pressure of the phosphine at 40 minutes, it was 32. The pressure initially was 100. E negative 40k. So this is the 40 minute mark and then k. And now I'm just going to solve for the rate constant. So I'm going to take the ln of both sides in order to get rid of that E. So ln of 0 0.32 is equal to 1 point, well, negative 1.139. And then I got my k value as 0 
0.285 inverse meters. Let's see the answer that the junior tutor said. So the given re reaction is an example of decomposition, and all we prove that all decomposition reactions and nuclear decays are first order reactions, so that part is right. And then they do the same kind of uh, unknown pressure thing that I did as well. They got x is equal to 17. Okay, so they did, they calculated for the pressure. The total pressure of phosphine at T equals 40 minutes is equal to the 100 is minus 4 times 17, so they got 32 torr. And then they solved for K. So they used a different uh, equation, but it, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, they just simplified it and then subbed in the values. And then they got the same K value of 0.0284-ish. So this solution is correct.